There's another producer from Niagara that, that I'm tend to be drinking more and more of, and that's Big Head. It's sort of a bizarre name, but uh, uh, if you see the proprietor and his son, they both have enormous heads, so uh, hence the name. And they've started going down with a lot more uh, concrete fermentation, a lot less signature of oak, and a lot more natural ferments. So the wines are becoming more and more vibrant all the time. And you know what, they started at a pretty good point anyway. In fact, this winery was started was started on Chenin Blanc uh, when there was some excess Chenin that, uh, that, that the, the father would buy every year and, and uh, for another winery and was, was consulting at another winery. And uh, then one year they, they, they decided they didn't want the Chenin, but the farmer was left with the fruit. They said, okay, that's okay. I'm gonna take the fruit anyways. I'm gonna make my own wine and start my own label. And, and the winery was born from that. So they've just recently, this is the first vintage of it, they've started this raw, <laughs> you can't see anything on the label at all, but it says raw on it. Um, as 2016 Chenin Blanc. This wine, this is wine that, that's Chenin in its purest expression. And to me, when I think of Chenin, I do think of it a little bit like Riesling. I think that it comes, uh, it ha always has that vibrant, vibrant acidity, always has plenty of apple, even more apple than the Riesling has. It is a wine that you would say is, is, is bordering on full body, but it's so vibrant in the end that it still keeps this elegance to it. It's amazing, and it's a wine that uh, if you were to open something like this, you should probably decant it two hours before and uh, let it open up. I don't know if that sounds crazy with white wines, but this could certainly use some more. It, it, look, it smells great right now. But the more exposure you give it, the more it's going to develop and open up and open up and open up. We go through phases, and right now we seem to be in a phase where everyone is so excited. Sommeliers, in any case, are so excited about natural Shenons from Loire Valley. What do I mean by natural? That's a terrible term because it's super vague. But Shenons from Loire Valley that are made with minimal winemaking intervention and let to sort of develop on their own, let them develop their own character and without too much interfere from wood and, and, and too much interfere from wine making tricks. And I'll tell you what, if you're a fan of those, those Shenons, uh, which can be extraordinarily expensive, extraordinarily expensive. In fact, I bet you my average price that I'm paying right now for these super exciting Shenons from Loire Valley is 70 bucks a bottle. Okay, maybe that's not super, super premium, but for me, that's a lot to spend on a bottle of wine. When I try this local product, it's better than most of them. And again, I think the price is about 30 bucks. That's an amazing complex wine. That's super, it's so exciting to see that getting produced locally.